Okay, in today's video, we will be talking about the TEAT project and how it changes the way open source projects are being developed. As a viewer, you would have used different open source projects, either as a developer who is developing projects or as an ordinary end user. It could be browsers, it could be video players, it could be many things. But do you know that open source projects are not often compensated? And that is a very big problem. So let's start with the story. The homebrew story. So the homebrew, if you're a developer, you will know that it's actually a package manager that installs packages that didn't come with your Mac OS or the Linux. So it helps you install that. And it's a very, very popular, being downloaded by millions of people out there. But do you know the founder had to leave that project? He had to choose between open source and work. Yes, open source is like a public good. It's like constructing the road. But how does the road come back? It's another thing. So you have to choose. That is a very big problem. So how does open source get funded today? There is no way. There is simply no way. But there are some approaches towards open source. We have the likes of um, sponsorship or uh, we'll talk about grants. Sponsorship maybe an event sponsorship, grants, and the rest of them. Now, the problem with sponsorship is that you sponsor a platform or a project that you like. What about the ones that didn't come to your notice or you are not sponsoring? They don't get anything. What about bounties? Bounties are not bad, but bounties, basically, you are paying for what you want, the future you want. So those are bounties. So that is another challenge. So there is no cohesive way uh, towards funding open source project today. The Nebraska problem. So the Nebraska problem is basically saying that open source software has given so much and it has built big companies. But these companies have not given back to this project. And we saw from the likes of Log4j and uh, CodeJS when they had issues. It was developers who had to face their problems. And these developers are not, are not getting paid. So when you look at it right now, um, open source is actually suffering because many who are maintaining these open source libraries, we have to choose between your work and open source. And let's take, for example, you are building software by the side. It does not really make sense, right? So another thing again is that of software integrity. You want to ask the open source stuff we're talking about, is the code that people are installing uh, or are normal now is there integrity in it? Are you not sure some uh, an, uh, a, a hacker has inserted some malicious code in it? Now, if open source is not compensated, somebody can just develop a project and nobody is going to go through an audit and the rest of them. So we have the likes of uh, the Bitcoin, those who were working, there was a time those who were working on the Bitcoin wallet had to leave it because uh, they will not be compensated for their uh, stuff. So what the T.SY project will bring is that it will ensure that there is integrity of uh, software. So the code that is being uploaded is immutable. You can change it and it's always available. And then there is integrity of the code. You know that what is being uploaded and then there will be token graph. So this graph means, let's take for example, somebody develop an open source project and it's being used here and then because it's being used here, somebody is using this also in this project, and somebody is using this in there. So if the, if the token value will actually flow down and all that. So let's talk a little bit about the project. The first thing is the decentralized registry. So the decentralized registry consists of a reputation system where um, it punishes bad actors and then reward good actors. And then it has the storage system. So the storage system uses um, a storage that is permanent. Now, encryption is a very, very good thing, but individuals can use encryption for a bad thing. Uh, we we'll have the likes of uh, Phantom Secure that individuals will use it uh, for bad things. And then we we'll have government also using encryption for bad things uh, and other things. So network participants, we have um, package maintenance. So if you want to pack, uh, maintain a package, you will get a maintainer, uh, a maintainer NFT. So this maintainer NFT comes with two things. comes with the reward you get in form of tokens, for holding the NFT and also reputation. So if you choose not to 
maintain a package anymore. You can transfer the package to uh, somebody else, but you cannot transfer the NFT because NFT represents a reputation and also a reputation is not like a token that you can buy. And then you have uh, T testers and they are now participants in the network actually. So how does it, how do, you want to submit a package, you know, put some package, how does it uh, work? First, you have to register the package through the decentralized registry. And then once you do that, you upload the package to the decentralized uh, storage system, which is permanent. And then other people can contribute things like reputation and uh, trustworthiness. And then we have um, TCPAS, like the testers. So they are the ones who we, because once you develop a software, it's not just enough that you just develop the open source software and then we push it to the world that people will come and use. No, there are people who will stick tokens and we check for bugs, we test the system, check the quality. If there's something that is really good, then we can actually upload it to the network. So this is the stars that we stick. So if they stick and they give a bad report and the network finds that they will penalize and slash that token. So if they get good, they do they are engage in good behavior, we give them tokens. You know that. So what would the, to the token be used for? Uh, it's a, it has its own blockchain, a proof of stake blockchain, so it's used for staking, delegating and all manner of stuff, for incentives for people to build and all that and build good behaviors. And then penalties you pay fees if you do something on the zero. So that is just a brief about the T.SY project. The founder of Homebrew is the one behind this. And the likes of Binance Labs and others have actually invested in this project. So let me know what you think about this project. Till we meet another time, subscribe to the channel and stay safe.